Hi everyone, my name is Mikel Lawunna and I am a queer Nigerian Swedish American photographer and engineer based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the United States. So the images you're seeing here are from my body of work titled Limitless Africans. This series was inspired by my own struggles with my queer and African identity and I'd grown up hearing this idea that it was not of our culture to be LGBTQ and African. So I wanted to create a body of work that would serve as a response and that could debunk these, this myth that we could not be both queer and African. And so over the course of six years, I traveled to 10 countries across North America, Europe and the Caribbean, and you'll see these in the images here. I worked with over 50 LGBTQ Africans working to debunk this myth. And each of the models chose objects and clothing, which for them combined their identities together. And we collaborated on creating a scene that could reimagine a new world within the frame, that where LGBTQ African identities were really reified. I was drawn to photography in the first place because I had really been struggling with my queer and African identities, and I was seeking a place where I could tell my story and feel like I belonged. And the one thing that really inspired me the most was seeing the work of Zeli Maholi in 2013. Up until that point, I had never seen any images of queer African people, and seeing their work really inspired me to try to connect the dots to my own experiences in the diaspora, beginning the journey that we see in the Limitless African series. So I still see myself as a young photographer myself, but the thing that really helped me over the course of my journey has been really digging into indigenous myths and storytelling. And I see really a world of possibility within our indigenous stories. And so I really encourage all young photographers to look into the indigenous stories and the stories that are close to home to them to really create these new realms of possibility. One of the things that really drew me to Zanelli Maholi was that they described their practice as visual activism. And I do feel resonances between that and my work because we're both looking at the stories of marginalized communities, particularly queer African people, and trying to use photography as a space to reimagine radically the possibilities for us, ourselves, and our community.